All right, for carving, um, we have a box of these carving tools and they come from all different time periods here. So the oldest ones are gonna have the lid on the back that opens. It's kind of more difficult. A lot of times you have to like bang it on the edge of a table to kind of get it started. And then you wiggle it open, pop, and then that's where your gouges live. So that's how that one opens. The lighter maroon, I also have some brand new ones like that. Those have a twist on the bottom and that's how those open. And again, the gouges live inside there. And then these ones, I think you just kind of pop it off. They open pretty easy. And again, the gouges live in there. All right, if you get the blue and the orange one, these gouges go in differently. So they go into the top, same as these maroon ones, but you lift it, you lift this part up in order to loosen the parts. I like this because then you can't lose the parts. These ones, you actually have to loosen the top in order to loosen those parts in there to get the gouge to go inside. The problem with this is a lot of students unscrew it all the way and then you know, this one will probably work. You unscrew it all the way. Bah, your pieces just fell out and then you lost something and now it won't work anymore. Look, I had that go on there. So make sure you don't loosen it all the way to where the pieces fall out. All right, so you just want it loose enough that the pieces inside here kind of move around. And the reason is you're gonna take a gouge, say you're gonna use the number two gouge. That's my favorite, it says two on the back and it's shaped like a V. So you can call it a V gouge or the number two gouge. You take the curved part and that's what you insert into those movable pieces. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see. Then you obviously have to tighten it. And now you can carve with this. Again, this one, you have to pick this up to loosen those pieces. You always take the curved side of the gouge and that's what you insert. And then to tighten it, you just put it back down. So that one's tight. This one's the oldest of the bunch. Let's see if you work. So it's loose, those pieces can move around in there. Take the curved part. That helps. Nope, this one's too old, it's not gonna make it. It's a no-go. All right, that one's a bummer. Put that one aside, but these ones work. So once you have your gouge inserted into your carving tool, you've selected the size that you want, make sure you're, you're realizing what size you get. So this is a number three that I put in here and it's a bigger size gouge. So if I'm carving something really small, I wouldn't want to use a bigger size gouge. I'd probably want a number two size gouge. The number one is extremely tiny. Um, so if you're trying to do fine line stuff, that could work, but I don't recommend it a lot because sometimes your block gets too filled up with ink. And if you carve something with just the number one, it doesn't show up. I really don't like the number ones, but I think the number two is the best. So we need to be looking at our design and making decisions, artistic decisions about what we are carving. So think about what is white here. The white is gonna be the negative space. That's what we're gonna carve. So if you look at Carmen's design, all this inside the speech bubble is white. I'm trying to talk over the video next to us. So I'm gonna get louder. So all of this is your negative space, right? If you compare that to Ivan's, he doesn't have that. So he actually doesn't have anything that is white in his. So the first thing you wanna think about is what is going to be white? If I look at Wayson's, he has this part here of his design that he would carve first. And that is what is white. So you're thinking about what is the white part of my design? That's what I'm going to carve. If you have one like Ivan's, instead of carving the white, you are special and we're gonna talk about you later, okay? <laughs> Let's focus on carving the white. So that's what I'm gonna work on with Carmen's. And again, 
it's all of this negative space, right? That's behind and inside the speech bubble, behind the letters, inside the speech bubble. All right, so what I'm gonna do to carve, make sure that's tight, is kind of outlining the inside of the speech bubble. And if you notice, I'm not digging down. The idea here, let's see if I can zoom in. The idea here is that you're kind of gliding across and you're taking off a layer, the top layer of this surface. And then I tap it just to get it out. What you don't want to do is have your finger here carve, slip, and go into your finger because this is a carving tool and it will carve your finger. So please be aware of where you're holding this, the direction you're carving in. And it does take some practice. For some people, this is gonna be difficult. For some people, it's going to be easy. All right, so again, I'm outlining the whole inside of the speech bubble. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the letters. I'm gonna outline these letters. And I'm turning the block turning the direction of my carving tool. All right, so we're gonna fast forward. I'm gonna outline, see if you can see this. See how I'm carving around the, the inside outlines of the negative space. Next step is I'm going to get a larger gouge. So take this out. If it won't come out, by the way, like if it's stuck, I mean, you heard that, just bang it a little bit and it kind of loosens it. Okay, so this is a larger size gouge. Can you see how large, right? It's like a scoop, it's a number four. Take that curved part, insert it in, tighten. So now I can use that larger scoop, that larger gouge to carve away bigger chunks of that white negative space. So again, it'd be really silly to use a number one and carve out all that negative space. That'd be like using a really thin paintbrush to paint a large section. So it's about being smart about the tools that we're using. Be smarter than the tools, guys. Okay, so you can see I've now, can you see, carved away just that top layer. So when I roll the ink over, it's only going to go over what I did not carve. So I'm going to continue working on that.